pay now. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Kendra Larson, and I am an artist based in Portland, Oregon. Um, my primary focus is on the ephemerality of the Pacific Northwest landscapes. Um, my drawings and paintings explore historical ideas of the landscape, um, such as ro romanticism, environmentalism, and wonder evoked by natural spaces. Um, so here's some of my work. Um, my current, well, okay. So over the last decade, my work has touched on themes of astronomy, magical realism, feminism, and phenomenology in Oregon. I consistently explore new imagery, painting mediums, <clears throat> illustrates, and color palettes. I enjoy learning about new media and taking on the challenges of expanding my paintings to a three-dimensional space. So this is an older piece. Um, really, uh, I started this painting when I was in graduate school in Wisconsin, really kind of nostalgic about the Northwest landscape and really starting to think about what paint was. Um, I was working with acrylics. This is a combination of acrylics and uh, silicone caulking and tar. Um, really thinking about paint as just a viscous material on a, on a canvas. Um, over time, my work is touched on, or I kind of see it falling into a, a variety of categories. Um, Northwest specific places, um, fireworks, moths, um, visual poetry, night, caves, and outer space. And so if you go to my website, they're all separated by those categories. Um, and over the last few years, my work has really focused on those, vis those um, making visible the fleeting qualities that add to our understanding of place, such as smoke, um, fire, um, fog, sound, clouds, movement. Um, this is from a series I did a few years ago, all about fireworks. Um, I'm really, I loved fireworks because um, they were dealing with light and smoke and fire and all those ephemeral things, but also because fireworks are loud and fast, whereas paintings are quiet and slow. And I loved that kind of duality. Um, And I was kind of exploring moths for a while as a symbol of hope and um, because moths often seek out light. So I saw them as a, as a symbol of hope, but also kind of a humble part of nature, something that's often overlooked. Um, uh, do, 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 do. So a little bit more about me. I'm originally from Salem, Oregon. I went to the Pacific Northwest College of Art for my undergrad degree and University of Wisconsin-Madison for my painting and drawing MFA. Um, I live in Portland now with my dog, who you all have met, <laughs> um, my husband and my five-year-old son. Um, and I mentioned earlier that I enjoy the idea of expanding my paintings to a three-dimensional space. Um, my installation a few years back at, um, it was called Patrick, Gal Gal blah, blah, Patrick Galaxy. <laughs> it was a collaboration with astronomer Todd Duncan. Um, and the aim was to spark a conversation about everyday wonder and the sublime. And really taking that painting and turning it into a three-dimensional space. So even though it's an installation, I really felt like it was an expansion of painting itself. So here's some images from that show. Um, and yeah, I could go in greater detail into to my feelings of the universe and outer space, but I think what it comes down to it is Todd, um, Todd wrote a book that made me feel like, um, like we are not just a, um, a meaningless speck in the universe 
Instead, we are part of that universe. And um, he took my feelings of, of being kind of um, lost and um, that kind of an existential crisis <laughs> and making it realize that like, no, in fact, we're all part of this universe and actually like each of us matters and each of us is, is part of this greater thing. So, so that's kind of why I was exploring um, imagery of outer space for a while as well. Um, and here's a video from that. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, well, damn. It's, um, it's done with this, this, um, this map, new technology, this um, space mapping technology, where the video is only in parts of the painting. So, so certain parts of the painting move. Um, another part of the practice is the, um, an, a, a podcast, podcast I do with my sister called Art Gab. And I'm almost at the end of the presentation, but um, so I see my, my, my practice as an artist is not just my paintings and drawings, but also my teaching um, and this podcast where we interview local artists about their work. Um, and then finally, right now, I'm currently working on three, three different groups of work. Um, first, a, a series of oil pastel drawings depicting smoke. These are a daily practice, almost a ritual or meditation. Conceptually, they bring attention to the wildfires and climate change. Formally, they are an exercise in color variation and luscious mark making. This daily practice of creating oil pastel drawings of smoke is also a ritual and meditation on the monotony of life during the pandemic. So I'm working on those. I'm working on a series of smaller experimental paintings. And then I'm also working on a series of six 24 by 36 paintings of steam rising from, a pool, from pools of water. Uh, this subject idea came from a story told to me by a student. Um, basically, there's a community center near his house. And um, since the pandemic uh, happened, the, only the outdoor pool is open. So when he walks around, um, around the community center early morning, he'll see people swimming in like 30 degree weather out in this heated pool and the steam is rising. And I just love that image as a symbol of perseverance and also that nature is larger than us. Um, plants are still growing, steam is still rising and winter is still chilly despite the pandemic. Um, so ultimately, I hope that my work will call on the viewer to protect natural spaces by, reignite, by reigniting childhood wonderment and also shed light on the sublime. Um, yeah, so that's my work. <laughs> um, are there any questions? 